Hello and welcome to the Stopgap Home Practice Seed called Move Like Water. Short clips from this season of home practice. Our disabled and non-disabled teachers dance and deliver their sessions in a brightly lit studio with a wooden floor. Pastel coloured geometric shapes glide across to reveal text inside the outline of a house. Home practice. Hi there, my name is Tom. I'm a white male standing dancer with a bushy beard. Um, I am wearing a grey t-shirt with a beautiful blue whale and blue fish swimming in a circle. I am uh, wearing a pair of dark blue dance trousers and I'm sitting on a wooden bench in a bright space with a wooden floor. Did you know that your body is between 60 and 70% water? This SEEDS uh, home practice session is all about the fluids in the body and we're going to take a journey through the body exploring um, the fluids and how they help us to move, how the fluids might support our moving. This is an experiential anatomy approach and that means that we don't have to um, learn lots of complicated names um, but uh, we experience our, anat uh, our anatomy through sensing and perceiving. Um, and this approach um, I've learned from different teachers, but one uh, teacher I would particularly like to introduce you to is Amy Voris, um, and we'll put a link to her website in the description below. So uh, we will need a couple of things uh, for this class. First thing is first is um, a water bottle. Um, it can be any size, half full of drinking water and with a lid that uh, is very secure and you're not going to have any leaks. The second thing is optional. Um, if you would like to, and if you have one, I know not, no, not everybody has one, is to, to take a hot water bottle. Uh, and once again, fill this um, half full and you could also put some warm water in there or cold water. Uh, you might have a preference, so you can decide for yourself. Um, I would invite you to find a comfortable position uh, that you feel ready to move in. Um, you could be seated, you could uh, uh, lie on the floor, you could also, for standing dancers, be standing. You can um, choose a position that you could be in for the whole of this session um, equally uh, and if it's available for you, you can also change uh, different positions throughout the session. Um, so let's get started. And as we go through, I want you to feel free to adjust any of the material um, to suit you, to suit your energy levels today. Um, and uh, feel, feel free to be creative with the material. Um, you can deviate into your own direction, your own path, and just come back. Uh, to the material when you're ready. Of course, you can always press pause um, and press play when, you're, when you'd like to uh, carry on. So, um, the first thing I would like to do is to take your water bottle and once again, check that your lid is firmly on. Take your water bottle upright and I'd like you to slowly start to turn the bottle perhaps onto the side first, then upside down. And notice the feeling of the water moving inside the bottle. Notice that whichever way you turn, the water seeks the lowest point of the container. So as I turn the bottle onto its side, the side fills with water. As I turn the bottle upside down, the top near the lid fills with water. So the, 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 um, the water is changing all the time as the container shifts. Great. So the next thing we're going to do, and that's why I said make sure you've got drinking water, is we're going to take a sip of water. Um, we'll do that together, although I will ask you to hold the water in your mouth um, 
I won't do that because otherwise uh, water will go everywhere as I speak, continue to speak to you. But we're going to take some water into your mouth and um, keep the mouth closed and don't swallow. So just perhaps half full holding water in the mouth and we'll start to, to do a bit of moving. As we continue into moving and you might feel that you don't need to um, send your concentration or look at the screen. Um, so feel free to turn away from the screen. You can um, listen to my instructions or come back to the screen when you need it. But feel free to turn away and um, uh, look in a different direction or change to a different uh, direction. So let's take uh, some water in and remember don't swallow, just hold it in your mouth. So with the water in your mouth, perhaps you'd also like to take hold of your bottle as well. Again, make sure the lid is on properly. And you're going to slowly shift the container of the bottle and the container of your mouth and see if you can feel the water shift. Just as before, seeking the lowest part. So if I turn my head to to the side, my cheek will fill with water as I turn to the other side, the other cheek as I bring my head forward perhaps, the front of my mouth will fill. So just shifting around using the bottle if it's helpful. You might even like to close your eyes if that's comfortable. So you can really focus on the sensation of water moving. So the container changing the orientation of the head and the bottle, which will in turn shift the liquid inside. Just a few more moments to explore the shifting of liquid in the mouth using the bottle as well, if it's helpful. And when you're ready, let's swallow that. Great. So uh, that's a, a, a hopefully a quite um, uh, a strong feeling of water moving in the body. And we're going to move into some other areas in the body which might feel a bit, bit more um, subtle. Um, but hopefully bit by bit we'll, we'll tune, tune into those feelings. Let's take our hands, rub them together, try to create a bit of heat between your hands. And when you're ready, when you've got that hot heat, it may, may take a couple of goes. I know for me, sometimes I don't get that hot heat the first, first round. We're going to close the eyes and then bring the hands to the eyes. And it might be helpful that you want to uh, just do one hand at a time, keeping one, uh, one eye open if that's uh, more comfortable for you, or both at the same time, up to you. But as your hands are here, if you don't get the heat, have another go, get a bit of heat between your hands, close your eyes and then rest your palms on your eyes. And this is to bring a bit of attention to the eyeballs. So let that heat or that, um, that energy from your hands move through the eyelid into the eyeball itself. And while we're letting that energy or that heat transfer, um, I'm going to add that the, the eyeballs uh, contain mostly water. So we send our attention into the eyeballs, these big round organs inside our heads. When you're ready, let your hand or your hands come away from your eyes and let the light back in. So we're going to start in the same way that we um, moved our head, we're going to start to move our head and feel the, um, 
the water in the eyeballs start to shift. Now, this is quite a subtle sensation. So for me, sometimes it helps to take some water into my mouth and this kind of container of the mouth, somehow um, I can kind of relate it to the experience of the eyeballs. So I have one, uh, uh, one container on each side of my head and the container of the mouth all shifting from side to side, shifting the fluids in. So if it's helpful, take, take another mouthful of water. Hold the water in your mouth. If you'd like to, you can also close your eyes for this as, as well. Another reminder to turn away from the screen if you'd like to and begin to shift the head in different directions, different angles, and see if you can start to feel the fluid inside the eyeballs as the head tips forward, perhaps the front of the eyeballs feel a bit fuller as you take uh, the head to the side, perhaps the sides of the eyeballs start to feel a bit fuller. Perhaps that sensation in the mouth of holding water will also influence or help you tune into the sensation of the liquid, the fluid inside the eyes. And just play a little bit, shifting gently, or perhaps moving a little bit more, you might find a bit more movement starts to give a bit more sensation, a clearer sensation of this fluid. Exploring for yourself in a way that works for you, how this shift of fluid can be experienced or felt inside the head. And then when you're ready, come back to center. And if you still have the water in your mouth, you can let that one go. Take a swallow. Once again, let's rub the hands together, generate a bit of heat. We're going to do the same thing with the eyes one at a time or both at the same time, whatever's more comfortable for you. When you've got that heat, once again, Place the hands on the eyes, closed eyes, and let this energy or this heat move through the, eye, the um, eyelids once again into the eyeballs. But this time, see if you can let a sense of this energy or heat move through the eyeball, right to the back of the eye. And this is where the root of the eye is, or the optic nerve that goes right into the brain, quite close to the center of the brain. So with this heat or this energy moving through your from your hands, through your eyes, see if you can imagine or feel back into the, the very back of the eye, where the eye connects through the optic nerve into the brain, right into the center of the head. So we're, we're um, continuing our journey through fluids. When you're ready, let the light back in, take your hands away. And so uh, there is, uh, to give a bit more information, the brain inside the skull, so inside the, the solid bone container of the skull, the brain sits. And once again, there is a lot of fluid uh, water in the brain as well. Um, so uh, if it's helpful, take your bottle again. You could take a sip of water if you like, or you can just perhaps move with the bottle itself. We have this, um, this sensation of fluid in the eyes. We're going to take that sensation, um, that experience of fluid into the brain as well, into the head. So we have these, um, these bodies of water, perhaps in the mouth, if you have water in the mouth, perhaps in the eyes, and then also into the head. 
So once again, start to tip from side to side, forwards, backwards, and see if you can feel how the fluid seeks the bottom surface, the lowest surface. So as you tilt your head from side to side, perhaps you have a feeling of a fluidity, a heaviness, as the fluid gently rests towards the, the lowest surface, perhaps taking the head forwards. You can always rest your, um, your head in your hands, for example. You might also um, rest your head against another surface, for, for example, a wall. Shifting and perhaps using your, your bottle as well. Letting the head and the fluid inside the skull, inside the brain, start to move by moving the container itself. You might find um, moving a lot is very helpful. You might need to move around your space, or you might find something very subtle is enough to give quite a strong sensation. So just tune in to what it is that you that gives you the most sensation of this fluid moving inside the container of the head, perhaps the eyeballs, perhaps even the mouth too. So a few more moments to explore You may, you may also want to put your water bottle down to be a bit more mobile. You might play a little bit with speed as well. Feel free to work with your eyes open or your eyes closed or try both. At any point, you can pick up your bottle again, even take some water into your mouth again, if that's helpful to remind yourself of that sensation if you start to lose it. And with all of these things, uh, when you, we wake up new sensations, sometimes it can feel you know, like a lot is happening. So if you feel like a lot is happening and you need a bit of a rest or a, a, a time to just settle, just find stillness again and join back in when you're ready. And then once again, come back to a stillness, come back to a rest. So we've gone from the mouth, through the eyes, into the head, into the brain. We're going to take a little bit of a journey, a bit lower down into the body now. So, um, We'll start with our, with our hands, um, just uh, sensing our body, and then we'll, and then we'll uh, bring some, um, some extra information with water. Um, take your hands to your, the front of your neck, so your throat. And you can feel perhaps the sides of your neck and then the, um, the front of your neck. And then take your fingertips very gently with the neck to the back of the neck. And perhaps here at the back of the neck, you might be able to feel um, the bones of the vertebra in the upper spine that run from the upper back to into the head. Now between, if you have your hands, uh, your fingers uh, at the back of your neck and the front of your neck, somewhere in the middle, is a tube called the esophagus. Now you don't need to remember that name, but the esophagus is in the center of the neck. So towards the back is the spine and you might be able to have felt that with your fingers. And the front is the windpipe where you breathe in through your nose, your mouth, and the, the air moves down through the pipe at the front of your neck down into your, uh, into your chest, into your lungs. Between the spine and the uh, windpipe at the front of the neck is the esophagus. And this is the tube 
where food and water goes down into your stomach. So this tube runs very, very closely to the spine. It touches the spine, this tube. And um, we often think about the spine as um, bones, you know, bones that uh, one after the other linking your whole spine. But around the spine, also in the bones of the spine, there's a lot of fluid, different kinds of fluid, cerebral, spinal fluid, um, different fluids between the joints of the spine, also in the tissues themselves. So the spine is actually very, very fluid, lots of water inside the spine. And so in a moment, we're going to take a sip of water and we're going to um, uh, swallow the water and see if we can notice the journey of water down from the mouth into the stomach. So bit by bit, you might notice, again, closing the eyes if it's helpful, to notice the sensation of that water traveling down into the stomach. Um, and this is very close to the front of the spine. And this um, fluid in the front, in the, the spine is what we're, what we're going to play with in our next movement um, uh, exercise or task. Um, but I want to bring some attention to the front of the spine, right in the center of the body. So take a, take a sip of water and see if you can notice the water go down as you, as you swallow it. Don't worry if you don't quite get a full sense of it first time around. You can take a few, a few sips. And as this water down comes down, it touches the front of the spine, very close to the center of the body. And how far, perhaps that's a question for you, how far can you feel the water go down? Is it down to perhaps somewhere in the neck? or perhaps to the level of the, the, um, the collarbones, perhaps down to the sternum, perhaps a little further. Of course, the stomach um, kind of goes slightly to your left side. Um, it doesn't go all the way down your spine. Uh, it would be nice if it does, because perhaps we could feel our whole spine through that water going down. But it should go down to, it will go down to uh, part way and then uh, go into your stomach. Um, feel free to take a couple more sips if that's helpful for you. Uh, feel free to also hold water in your mouth. We're going to start to explore. You might also use your hands, perhaps in the front of your body and perhaps in the back of your body, to start to explore the fluidity of the spine that runs right next to the esophagus, that um, pipe that the water was just traveling down we're going to start to move and perhaps there's a connection between the, the, the fluid of the eyes that moves into and connects into the fluid inside the skull, inside the brain, that connects down from the brain through the spine, starting to make a journey down the body. So again, feel free to turn away from the screen, feel free to, to close your eyes, see if you can relax your eyes. Perhaps you'd like to also hold your bottle as we, speak, as we continue to move. Perhaps you'd like to take some water, hold some water in your mouth. Perhaps you'd like to change position if that's available for you to start to uh, move a little more. So in the moving, we might gain more or learn more about the fluids inside the body, the different structures and containers that hold fluid of the eyes, the, 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 the skull, the um, spine. So this movement is helping you to learn about your own body and the, the fluid inside the body. 
perhaps you're feeling as if you're still moving the container of the body which changes the fluid inside the containers. But you may, may also start to have a feeling that perhaps the fluid itself is moving and influencing or changing the containers. Which is it? Is it the container that moves the fluid or the fluid that moves the container? Perhaps it's hard to tell exactly what that sensation is telling you. Perhaps it doesn't, you don't need an answer. Feel free to explore changing positions. You can be really mobile in your space. If it's available, come down to the floor, come to lying. You might um, explore these fluids on your sofa as well. Make sure you're comfortable in your exploration. Just a few more moments. And when you're ready, come back to rest. For the next part, um, you may like to take your water bottle, bottle if you have one. Um, again, you could also work, work with your water bottle, your normal water bottle. Um, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to invite you to find a position where you feel like the front of your body is more facing the ground. So you might just, for example, if you're seating, you might just lean forward using your arms to help support you. Uh, if it's available for you, you might come down to an all fours position, or you might, perhaps if you're standing not, so you might also work in a kind of position like this. Uh, where I'm using my hands resting on my thighs, so that I feel the front of my body is uh, close to the ground. Now, um, we've uh, gone through a journey so far from the mouth into the eyes, into the head, down through perhaps the upper part of the spine. For the next part, you may need to use your imagination. Um, you may... Um, uh, need to kind of picture the water going down. Uh, um, but what we're going to do is start to think about um, not just the spine, but the organs that are contained within the torso. So um, perhaps take your hands uh, to your rib cage. You might be able to feel the ribs, where the ribs end, and then the pelvis begins. And in that space, we have a lot of internal organs, of course, in other places too, but these are places where we can perhaps more easily feel this kind of uh, possibility of uh, these containers that, that hold fluid. Now, when I lean forward like this in, in, a, in a version that works for you, but when I lean forward like this, I can use my hand to kind of uh, hold or support or feel these organs that are far more fluid than other parts of my body. For example, my muscles, of course, have fluid in them, a lot of fluid, but they have a, more of a structure to them. Uh, my bones, my skeleton has a lot of structure, of course, too, has water, water and liquid in them too, but the organs have a lot more. So these soft organs of the abdomen, have a little um, feel round. And then you might like to take your uh, hot water bottle or your normal bottle and find a position where you can hold that liquid container next to the liquid container of your abdomen and the, the containers of the organs within. And just get a sense shifting around, starting to shift around 
may become more upright, may be coming forward, that there is a weight, a weight of the organs as the container of the torso moves. There's a sense of the organs containing fluid and the fluid seeking the lowest point. So when I bring my torso forward, perhaps the liquid in the organs seeks the front of my body, perhaps if I lean backwards, the back of my body might fill, same goes for the side, shifting over, shifting the containers, shifting the fluids. And behind the organs of the abdomen lies the spine. And um, we've perhaps had a, an experience of perhaps the, the, the upper part of the spine through the sensation of drinking some water um, that then of course goes into the stomach. But perhaps we can start to explore, perhaps through our imagination, perhaps through our, uh, our visualization of the rest of the spine in its fluid mobility, its ability to be really fluid like water and how the, the fluid organs sit in front of that spine. So take a moment with your bottle or without to using your hands also if you'd like to if you'd like to work with your eyes closed or open, trying to explore the sensation of fluid in the body. Shifting the containers. And perhaps experiencing the relationship between these containers between the link between the eyeballs and the brain and the fluid upper spine into the fluid lower spine and the organs of the abdomen. We're going to continue for a little longer and in a moment we'll introduce some music but as we continue our exploration you may find that you sense have a sensation of water in the rest of the body too and of course that's true there is lots of water in our whole body including our joints in our bones of course in our blood moving through our body there is lots of water. So you, we have kind of taken a journey from the head down into the body, but you can start to explore. How the fluid might move in other parts of the body. So for the next few moments, few minutes, you can uh, take some time to explore the fluid moving through the body for this last part. And we can take our time to turn away from the screen, to close our eyes if, I want, if we want, 
to take in a little water if that's helpful, to hold the water in the mouth or swallow it down to feel that go if you, uh, that move down the body if you need a little reminder. To use your water bottle or your hot water bottle close to your body or tipping if that's helpful. And perhaps we can also start to bring in um, the images of water that we might uh, be familiar with. For example, the sea, waves, rivers, rain, weather, of course, waterfalls, ponds and lakes, streams. So this also will influence how this uh, fluid exploration, this fluid dance comes and it will introduce some music now where there'll be two, two quite different pieces of music. And you can uh, let this music support your fluid dancing and perhaps might bring out some different water qualities, fluid qualities in your moving. Go at your own pace, explore in a way that feels good for you. Feel free to work into the real detail. Or perhaps the fullness of the whole body. be places where you feel like stopping or really slowing down helps remind you of the fluid and the subtlety of the feeling moving in the body. So sometimes stopping will help to enliven your experience. you can work with your eyes closed or open. You can take a little water in or you can use your bottle to influence And remember, water doesn't always move slowly. It can really move fully. It can crash like a wave. It can rise up. It can drain away. And everything in between.
let's bring our water and fluids into a settling period towards a rest in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wherever you are, find a stillness, let yourself settle. Let the fluids settle into the lowest part of each container. And this may take some time, so feel free to, to give a little extra time to Settling after all of that moving, there's a lot of things moving in that uh, past, uh, last part. Thank you very much for joining this session. If you enjoyed it, please click, click the like button below. You can also hit subscribe uh, in the same place. I'd love to hear what you thought of this class, how you got on. So please leave a comment in the section, comment section below. Um, if you're looking for a follow-on class, there's a couple that I'd like to recommend to you, Finding Your Flow by Christian, and another one of my classes um, called Making the Most of the Momentum, or Just Momentum. Um, and that's, uh, 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 both of those classes, an opportunity to perhaps put this fluidity or this um, fluid movement into those classes to see if it makes a difference to your dancing in other, in other classes, in other situations. Thanks once again, and see you soon. Home Practice, Stopgap Dance Company.